Hello, good evening. Welcome to Mike's Cooking Studio. I'm Mike. This is my cooking studio, or I should say my the kitchen area, my one-bedroom apartment. I affectionately call my cooking studio. And uh, it is Saturday, March 23rd, 2025. It is 8.07 p.m. So as my mother would say, we're going to be eating as blue bloods, like blue bloods tonight. Uh, this, can, this dish is only going to take like eight minutes to cook. I'm using my six-quart pressure cooker to do it. I'm doing it, I've done it like three or four times now. Spaghetti and meatballs in the pressure cooker. It takes like eight minutes um, after it comes up to pressure to cook the pasta, mate, basically. The meatballs I'm using, they're already frozen, cooked. You can use fresh, but you're going to have to cook the meatballs. Uh, just keep bear, that, bear in mind with that. It's about a two-pound pack. Yes, it's a two-pound pack. Not a pound. It's a two-pound pack, Mike. It says 16 ounces on the bag. That's two pounds. So that's plenty. How many meatballs is that? I don't know. I don't count them. Uh, so anyways, we're doing it in the pressure cooker. Now, I will post in the description. There's so many different recipes out there or techniques of how to do this in the pressure cooker. I'm going with one that I like. It's easy. She posts the recipe that she does, how she does it. And uh, it's called My Mom's Life is, the, is her. So a shout out to her and her YouTube channel. I don't know if she's on Facebook. don't know her name. I haven't watched all her videos. But shout out to her. Shout out to all my subscribers. Like I said, it's Saturday, the 23rd of March. It has been warm, well, mild, but rainy, a cold rain to make up for it in the 50s today. It's supposed to get really windy tonight. I haven't seen that yet, but we'll see. Uh, and like I said, I'm cooking in my six-quart pressure cooker. In her video, she uses an Instant Pot. Okay, I'm sorry. I haven't joined the Instant Pot crowd yet. It's just an inst it's just a pressure cooker. The brand of the brand brand name. Yeah, it's got some of the bells and whistles. That, but my name basically does the same thing. Um, you know, it's an electric digital pressure cooker. I can brown it, it's sear, slow cook. I mean, it's got presets. So like I said, Instant Pot is just the brand name of a pressure cooker. Sure, they got some nice neat little gadgets and Features and you know, I just don't own one. So, so yeah, so I'll stay over here in my pressure cooker corner, my whatever brand it is. It's from QVC. So, anyways, it's still working. Can you imagine that. And uh, so, anyways, here it is. It's, I got. I'll come down off of me. Shout out to all my subscribers. Um, at three twenty five. Now, when I was in the hospital last week, my mukbang video I did, my little video I did the day, night before his discharge, I was at 317. The channel is taken off. Thank you very much. I don't know all the subscribers, the names, because... So, I'm starting with some... Well, I'm going to start with some it's Prego. It's a fire roast. It's a new flavor. No meat. The meat is the meatballs. So I'm going to pour a little bit of this in on the bottom of the pressure cookie. You don't have to. I like to. And these are the meatballs. They're free. Chef Italia, Italian style meatballs. Uh, I don't know if there really is a, is a Chef Italia. Could be. Could they lie? Oh. There's a little history in the back. Eating instructions. These pair of scissors to cut it open. There's those. They lie with those little notches on the bag. Easy open notches. There they go. Yeah, count it up. Is that a 20, 25, 30? So there are the meatballs. Next, the pasta. Spaghetti. Just the regular spaghetti. About, oh, I don't know what the recipe called for. 
Now, when I put this spaghetti in, spaghetti, when I put the spaghetti in, I'm going to, like, crisscross it so it's not all clumped together. It gets all, you know, chewy in. It's really good. It's amazing how it comes out. So it'll take about no. But with sometimes pressure, because if you get some hot liquid in there already, it doesn't take that long to come up to pressure. Uh, I need to have some. I might have too much spaghetti. That's okay. You never have too much spaghetti, can you? You kind of crisscross it so it doesn't all like go cook together. Like a big lump. Lump of spaghetti. That's enough, I guess. That's enough. That's enough, I said. Enough. And I'm going to dump this jar. It's a 24 ounce jar of Prego. I lost my senses once and bought a jar of Rouge. I can't, you know, I got to tell you. I mean, I'm not so expensive about it, but it is. It was on sale. That's the only reason I bought it at, the, at a store, the, one of the stores I go to. I think Stop and Shop. I go, wow, I never see it at that price. Wow. I'll never see it at that price again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pour a little water in this, swish it around to get all that goodness out. My goodness. I'm going to fill the whole jug. That's water. Because you need, as more, most of you know, with pressure cooking, you need water. Like if you're doing, like, you know, cooking, like, anything. You need water in it. Liquid. A liquid, not just water. A broth. There. Yeah. And I'm also going to add a can of tomato sauce. No particular brand, just tomato sauce, low salt, low sodium. I'm not going to bother putting water in the can. It's enough. And one more liquid, like a cup, about a cup or so of, of beef broth. Is that what I want? Huh? I'm also going to add some spices. I'm going to add some oregano. I'm just going to eyeball this about a teaspoon or so. I'm not going to overdo it because the sauce probably, the jar of prego probably has spices in it already. But this would be nice. And some garlic powder. Yeah, garlic powder, garlic powder, butter, garlic powder. And there's some basil. It's just dry basil. It's been kept in my cupboard for years. Should be taste no, not years. And a little bit of. Onion powder. None of this is necessary. It's just my put my own little put my own little make it my own. Let's say, as opposed to some of the ounces. Now I'm gonna try to. Yeah, it's good. So that'll heat up and it'll boil up, and we'll have a we'll have a humdinger day going on. Now I'm gonna put this lid on. And I'll come back. I'll let this come up to pressure. Then it'll do the countdown. At the countdown, I'll come back and we'll release the pressure. We'll do a we'll do a quick release as opposed to a natural a natural release. You use it for mostly like meats, like like a roast or like a pot roast, and uh, you want to let it release like uh, ribs like, or something like that. Just let it come out naturally. Let it come down naturally. And it'll keep everything inside the meat and keep it moist and it'll make it keep it tender. Um, but things like this, I'll just do a quick release. 
Oh, that stoked up his heart. They come down and up off of me. You can't see the control panel on the pressure cooker, but believe me, you'll hear it when I'm pushing the buttons and having fun. Just want to make this make sure this is locked, locked, and the pressure seal is down on the top. And then I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna uh, go with. Uh, there we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Oh, then start. You hit start. And then it's because there's some letters. I don't know what those letters are. It's like RRP. I, I, I tried to look it up once, what RRP means on the display screen. I don't know what it means. It's coming up to pressure. That's what it means. It's revving up. That's what the R's mean. Revving, revving the pressure. So that's what I'm going for, with. So it's coming up to pressure, or it will be, as soon as all the liquids heat up, and then it'll, it'll come up. I don't know if it makes a tone, makes an alarm when it comes up to pressure, then it starts its countdown. And uh, I do cheesecakes in this pressure cooker. I usually change the gasket just because there's no cross flavors. Um, I do a cheesecake in this pressure cooker, uh, 22 minutes. I have a book, uh, it's all pressure... She's got three, uh, she has three recipes for cheesecake, different cheesecakes. Um, there's one I do with the peanut butter cheesecake, which I'll be doing in a couple, near Easter. And I think there's a video or a picture of the video, a video, but it's a still picture, a static picture of the cheap peanut butter cheesecake. It's in very decadent and indulgent. And uh, it's really good. I have a pan that I got for these. Um, I had this silicone trivet. Didn't come with the pressure cooker. I bought these. Um, it's a seven inch. Goes in the bottom. If you want to put, you got to put things on to keep them off the bottom. Then I have a a cake pan or a pan that doesn't have any holes in it. It's the same. It's a seven inch. Then I have a, one that looks like the cake pan, but it isn't, and it has. It has slings on it to easily lift it out of the pressure cooker. This one, the other one, the second one has holes in it. You can use it like a steamer basket for corn and stuff, or corn and carb. I do corn, corn on the carb in this. I'm not, a, not, not like eight years. Like, um, I usually do the half sizes. I can do the full sizes. I do like maybe three or four years of corn in this. It takes like three, four minutes, depending on what um, video, video I watch to see how to do it. It's so easy. You put like a cup and a half, two cups of water in. I put the corn on top of this or in that other basket. And, I mean, you can't mess it up. And it comes out perfect. But for me, I can't eat corn, on, corn off the cob that's on the cob. I got to cut it off and issue. Um, so I cut it off, and usually what I'm using corn for is I'm roasting it. I roast it in the skillet and uh, for, an, for a salad that I make. It's really good. So Now, I want to give a shout out to my cousin Mark Campbell. His uh, YouTube channel, which he's, I'm subscribed to his, he's subscribed to mine. He's got like 400-something subscribers. I got the notification he was live. He was the only one in the live, you know, talking to him, either talking to himself or um, I saw the notification. I joined them. I joined them by clicking a link and it put us side by side. Uh, I'll post that link to his channel that has that video. I came in in about 20 minutes into his video and we had a good time talking, catching up on old times. And uh, I was really surprised because he went and he's made. I've been telling, I've been mentioning to him. I really like a cast iron skillet. I have a couple of cast iron cook pieces of cookware, not like a real cast iron, you know, cast iron. I mean, they're real cast iron, but this is nice, a big skillet, and uh, he's getting it all prepared for me. Then he's going to ship it to me. It would be great. I'd love it. Um, yeah, nice guy. We grew up together, you know, and 
I was very close to his mother, my aunt Florence, you know, and uh, my mother was, too, you know, all of, all of them were, and uh, yeah, I just had a great time together when we went over to visit him. And uh, then in, during the chat, the live, his live feed, my cousin Carol, which I haven't seen in years. Um, we grew, you know, you know, I was, she still calls me Mikey, which I don't mind. Um, and uh, I love her. I love her to pieces. I haven't talked to her in years. You know, she keeps in touch on Facebook all the time. And uh, oh my goodness, yeah. Um, so I miss everybody that way. So I really, you know, I don't get too emotional about it, but I just miss everybody up that way. I grew up in a Framingham, Mass. So that's where most of us are from. So, so anyways, having said all that, I went live once a few couple of years ago. I didn't get mad. Some of my subscribers came in. You have to kind of advertise somehow, you know, put out so it's out in the notice that you're going live on such and such a date and meet people who come and see you, you know, to promote. you got to promote your live show. I really, I don't know how to do that. It's easy going live on, on YouTube. It's pretty easy going live on Facebook. I did on I went live on Facebook one. Like I said, I didn't get many many people come in. I had to go and tell everybody, you know, in like a private message, as many as I could, that I'm live when you come over. Then you gotta rely on that they're on Facebook or they're online at the time. So which isn't always the case. So anyway, so I got this on to come up the pressure. I'm going to go and come back after it's done. So we're going to have a little interlude here. So I'll see you soon. And we'll have spaghetti and meatballs. Yes, we will, on a Saturday night. Spaghetti and meatballs. Shout out to Robin. Hi. How are you? And uh, Bruins lost again, yeah, yeah, no, we don't care about them anymore. Bye. See you soon. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hello. Welcome back to Mike's Cooking Studio. I'm Mike. Here we are in my cooking studio. And we're back from the other uh, pressure cooker, um, spaghetti and meatballs. It's done. The pressure just came down. It, uh, it, it sent out the alarm. That it was done. Uh, now I'm going to release the pressure. So let's come down off of me. Hope everybody's having fun tonight. It's Saturday night. Staying safe and warm. Out of the rain. If it's raining where you are. I'm going to release the pressure. It's not going to take that long. I just want to get my... I want to get my towel today. It's not going to really hurt the vent up above. Stove. I got the pressure cooker sitting on on the top of the stove. Just venting for the camera, I, I guess. You can't you can't even move. Oh, you can move it a little. You can't even remove the lid until the pressure's all out. Just safety. I couldn't use one of those old-fashioned stovetop pressure cookers. You need like a like a math degree to use those. And like the weights on the top, different size weights. It's not like a pressure cook. It's going to explode all over the place. It just ain't going to happen. This is a six quart. I also have somebody sent it to me, a foodie friend of mine. from. She's now in Tennessee, I think. Um, a shout out to Tina because she's my, she subscribed, Tina Brennan Brown. She subscribed to my channel. Um, 
We're also friends on Facebook. And she sent me a couple of things in the past. And uh, one of them was a, a three quart. It's really cute. I mean, I probably could have done this in it. Probably enough room for that, for this. A three quart pressure cooker. It's a stinking cute little thing. Now, see, it's all come, the pressure's all down. Now I can move the lid and open it. One rule of thumb when you're opening a pressure cooker that's hot inside for the first time after everything's cooked, you don't want to just open it up or you'll, or you'll burn yourself, get the steam right in your face. You want to just open it a little this way, away from you, like that. You don't know if you can see that. Let the, some of the steam come out before opening it completely. It's just you don't want to burn yourself. Now, it, there is a way that this lid will, will attach to the side in a standing position. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to set it off over here near the sink. And uh, it also came with a glass booklet, so I can use it like a slow cooker, which I have. Works great. I used it uh, Super Bowl Sunday as a slow cooker. Great. Works great. Great, 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 great. Give this a stir a little. Some spaghetti, some meatballs. Some spaghetti and meatballs. I don't have any garlic bread. I should have got some. I did the last time I made this. On the Dollar Tree. Yes. Actually, you could find all the... In fact, you could actually find all the ingredients at the Dollar Twenty Five Tree to make this. I know they have cans of, sp of spaghetti sauce and a brand name Hunts. Yes, probably find all the spices there. Just about if you want to put spices in. I believe they have frozen meatballs. I don't know what brand. You might have to buy two bags. And spaghetti. I said shout out to all my subscribers. I missed somebody earlier. I can't think of it. I get some. Oh, let me see. Let's, uh, let's, uh, why don't we do this, uh, yes, sir. Uh, put the plate over here for a minute. I can shift things around. I can take this out of, I can cancel, cancel that out of, keep warm. I'm going to be cleaning up afterwards. And I can unplug it. And I can plug it, and then unplug it, I can unplug it. Now I can move it over that way, move the tripod a little bit this way. Got my grater for my Parmesan cheese. It's just Parmesan. Parmesan, I don't know how you're supposed to say it. It's just a Parmesan. It's a Parmesan from a Parma, Italy. Right? Parmesan. It's not a Parmesan of Romano, it's a Parmesan. Yeah, that, that's what it is. Great is great, great. It's got a small, it's got another one. There's another one. It came as a two pack. Great. I could just get a wedge and throw it in the Vitamix. It'll make it like a, it'll grate it on like a minute. And depending on how much you want to do it in the Vitamix, it'll be like the stuff in the like the can. It's like powder, you know, like.
I watched that guy on QVC do it. If he can do it, I can do it. Jim Muller, that's him. He's on every time they have Vitamix on. Usually. This is harder than match stick. I'm not going to eat this whole plate in front of you on camera. I'm going to go sit down and enjoy it. It's late. I'm eating like a blue blood. It's after 8 o'clock. Celtics game is on. They're winning. or they were winning. Celtics are going to win the championship this year. Yes, they are. They win tonight. They're on a nine-game winning streak. They're on the road for six games, longest road trip of the year. They only have ten games left after tonight in the playoffs. First place in the conference. Bucks are like 11 games behind them. Milwaukee Bucks. As for the Bruins, they lost again today to Philadelphia and Philly. Two to one. Very sad that the way they're playing lately. I don't like the coach, really. Too late to change them now, I guess. They should have fired them a month ago. It's an excuse for everything every time they lose. It's awful. They need a coach to put a light of fire under this team. And he doesn't. Now you hit the panic button, but not a mill. They're in first miraculously. They're still in bottom, maybe not after today. They're in first place. Because they started out so great, had a gangbusters. Right now they're gonna stumble like drunk into the playoffs. Like their coach. Remember his head back story. I call him Jim. If I got an excuse for you, Montgomery. They need, they need to be, bring back Mike Milbury. Oh, this is delicious. I like the sauce. Oh, delicious. Oh, there you have it. Saturday night spaghetti and meatballs. I wish I had garlic bread. I have bread, but it's pumpernickel bread. I don't want that with my spaghetti and meatballs. So, again, a shout out to my cousin Mark. Uh, thank you very much for the day. Thank you for uh, joining into your live video. I saw another, I saw you were on live tonight um, earlier on YouTube um, with your wife, your beautiful wife, Chris. Um, you should have her on more often. And uh, I love you both. I love you all. I'll see you soon. And uh, like I said, a shout out to Robin. Shout out to Deborah. My old, my old time subscribers. Shout out to Sharon. I hope you like those songs. I know you did. You said you did. And uh, I'll see you soon. Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow for the uh, recipe. I'm not going to say what it is. And uh, I'll see you then. Oh, shout out to Carol, my cousin. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. And uh, have a good night. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. I love you all. Bye. Please subscribe if you have it. Thanks. Bye.